<laughs> so I'll, I'll talk to Kai and you can All right, you want to hang on to the side? Oh, I love it. Okay, figured we'd start in a different way instead of talking in the car like every single video. So, we're driving up to Haleakala with Audrey, who's over there. Don't pee. We're going up and we're finally going to hike into the crater. It's super steep and you go down into the crater, which makes it seem easy. And then you hike up. It's the worst kind of hike. Out. Yeah. Easy first, hike. hard up. That's it's, it's rough on the system. So this Audrey, again, you guys know her. She's a recurring theme, re recurring character. What's up? Character. On the show. In our lives. We're all wearing black. We're repping the Northwest right now, yeah. real tough. We look very <laughs> out of place on Maui. So quiet. You can hear birds chirping. So quiet. It's beautiful. It's fun. It's fun. Pea break complete. Top. I don't actually know what this area is called, but the first spot where you can park and check out the crater. So yeah, we're going to get our packs ready to go, throw our shoes on, our boots on, and then go get on the sliding sands trail. So we'll check in there. because it's a very open trail, not really lots of places to pop a squat. Um, from that visitor parking lot, you can walk right over to the Sliding Sands Trail, and that's what you can see behind me, and we're gonna hike down for only about an hour, maybe a little bit more, but the trail is like 11 miles or something insane. I don't know, I should have looked that up. The trail's really long, so today we're just going to hike down and enjoy the hike and turn around because apparently it takes twice as long to come back up as it does to go down. We're gonna be present and enjoy the journey because it's not about the destination.
so what's the coffee shop? Shout it out. All day. In in Miami. In Miami, yeah, downtown Miami. Sick. And then that's a bar or? That's a specialty coffee shop with a strong breakfast, brunch, and lunch program. Sick. How and late do you serve breakfast, brunch? Until 5 p.m. <laughs> it's the best. <laughs> and I have um, a cocktail bar with a, a, a strong beer program um, called The Corner. Cool. And that opens at 4 for half the hour from 4 to 8. Sick. And it closes at 5 a.m. and 8 a.m. on Friday and Saturday. Awesome. Yay! What, what, what is your name? Introduce yourself. My name is Chris McLeod. From Florida. What's your name? Hey, I'm Rebecca Prince. Where are you from? Maui, originally Louisiana. Do you know what that's about? You can call me Miss Prince. Dude, I was, I was like off for a while. I'm like, fuck, I don't want to put my energy into this. And then it's like, but then I think of a new creative thing and I'm like, that's worth putting energy into. So now I'm back on it because we're doing this show, which I think is like, cool way to show people to do like long-term travel and like non natural ways like like finding work like all the things that people are scared of like where do you stay how do you survive what about everything back home like how to do it and not and not like corny not like do you know like we didn't take a tour up here we we bought a car here we drive up and just walk down you don't need all this crazy stuff that everyone does like not that it's bad but you don't, you don't need it. Simple. Yeah. Like Maui groups on Facebook. Oh and man, it's gnarly. Oh my gosh, it stresses us out. We're like, okay, we're gonna be there in 2021. We've already bought the tickets. We planned out the first eight days. We have a luau on this day. We have a snorkeling trip on this day. We have a zip line. I couldn't stop and chat yeah, because sorry, you'd be I've running somewhere else. <laughs> and it's like, you can't meet, like, I don't know, like, yeah. one of the coolest. Yeah. No. no. That's where the magic is. is Absolutely. Oh. All the time. You gotta listen Absolutely. to the land and the people and see where it calls yes. you. And then it's like, oh, I'm speaking here. I'm having mm -hmm. this conversation yes. right now. Like, what is that? Yeah. And then you learn things. Like, if we hadn't stopped and talked to you, we wouldn't have learned about this. Yeah. Or that Miami's cool. Yeah. yeah. That just shows you the magic of Maui. We just met some people hiking on the trail and had a conversation with them for like half an hour. Um, took yoga photos, hugged each other. Uh, I got one of their phone numbers. We might we might live together. I don't know. Maybe at least do some yoga or go on some more hikes. The magic of Maui. Just Right now I'm over off by myself taking photos and I'm trying to get a shot of Audrey and Laura way over there on the other side with my camera and I just thought I'd point out this weird thing that always happens which is like as photographers we try to get a photo somewhere where it looks like you're kind of all by yourself in a place right where it looks like no one else is around you're on a secluded beach you're on a mountaintop and no one's there but in reality there's people here right we're in one of the biggest tourist destinations in america and i just thought it's 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 dumb that i try to get a photo without anybody in it but here i am waiting you know in this big open expanse where there's a bunch of people i'm waiting for you know this couple of people to walk by so i can get a photo of audrey and laura by themselves and i don't know if it's good or bad or not you know are we promoting like a a fake idea that doesn't really exist or are we you know making art that takes a certain moment at a certain time in a certain place in certain conditions i don't know part of me thinks like it's cool to try to like get a moment like that and it's creative and it takes effort and talent and timing and skill and all these things but part of me is like you should show the real shit. Like, you should show what's actually going on. You should show that there's a bunch of people walking by that you're trying to, I don't know, like, get a photo where no one exists in a place where a bunch of people are there. I don't know. Maybe it's stupid. Uh, I would like to hear your guys' thoughts, though. You know? Like, you watch this show. Do you want to see, like, I don't know. Like, if you follow us on Instagram and you see our photos, like... 
what do you think? Like, do you think people should do that? Do you, do you think that people shouldn't do that? Do you think people should, you know, be allowed to, I don't know, create a, like a fake moment or something? Or is there a gray area? Is it, you know, is it something that's nuanced? Um, anyways, let me know. Don't be scared. Write something long. I'll try to read it all. And uh, I would love to hear what people think that aren't photographers or people that are photographers. Um, yeah, I'm going to take this photo now. <laughs> gonna do this hike it just goes on forever and ever and ever you're not gonna do the whole thing in a day unless you unless you rent one of the cabins and you stay there which is what some people do so if you're gonna do it you can just go until you're good and then turn around and go back it's it's it is pretty steep downhill so you want to leave yourself double the time whatever time you came down in it's gonna take double that time to go back up or that's what they say so, um, so let's do it Great. So yeah, that's my recommendation. Now we're going to go back up so we can eat. Alright, we're about halfway back up and 10,000 feet of elevation and a pretty gnarly vertical climb means we're sweating we're breathing pretty hard if you're uh, not an active person take that into account when you decide how far to go in uh, if you're super active don't worry about it at all So just like that, we made it up and out. Didn't quite take two times as long, probably took one and a half times, but we definitely charged up there. But anyways, the clouds rolled in right as we got to the top. So it's good that we uh, we left when we did. And uh, I don't know if we're gonna get to watch the sunset because there's a lot of clouds right now, but uh, either way, it's pretty fun to go down there and uh, definitely recommend it. If you got a full day, do a full day. You got a half day to a half day. We got up here at about one and it's about four now. So we spent three hours down there basically. And uh, maybe a little more than that. So yeah, anyways, we're gonna hang out for a bit and eat. We'll see if the clouds burn off or if they stay, we'll probably go back down. But uh, either way, thanks for coming along. Uh, if you like the videos, don't forget to subscribe. And uh, if you really like the videos and you wanna support what we do and help us keep traveling and paying for all this expensive ass shit that we do then uh, consider supporting us on patreon uh, you can support at any level you can give a dollar a month to us which helps a lot and you wouldn't even notice that it's gone we give five ten twenty thirty five we got all sorts of rad hats and shirts and stickers so if you support we hook you up with some cool shit we'll send you a postcard we'll send you a video and uh anyways go check it out patriot.com slash the detour guide peace